おうきっとすぐ AD を見つけてお前に渡してやるからな Welcome back to Root Zibble. Last time we had our first band ending. Where apparently it was bad for what to say himself to get the、uh, half dose of AD. So, what I did was go back to the point where we debated uh, who uh, would get the, the half dose. And this time, instead of what to say, Kazumi was the one who took the half dose. And then, after that, was the whole scene with the electrified puddle and stuff, and all that dialogue was the same, so I skipped over it. Until this point, where we're splitting up again to find some AD. And this is new dialogue, so here we go. With those words serving as a signal to all of them, the group then split up to begin the search. Once they knew Anna quickly went to the stairwell, but it could get down to B2. But the emergency staircase completely collapsed. <laughs> レスキュー隊の私らはともかく椿山さんがここを降りるのは危険だね外周島にも非常階段があるはずだわそっちから降りましょう。But to be accurate, the stairs were totally in one piece. The ones that led to the service had been destroyed, leaving only the basement one to basement two staircase intact. しかしなんであちこち階段が壊れちまってるんだ今は気にしてもあんま意味ないよ。どの道あの階段を上がった先には隔壁があるんだから。地上に続く階段で無事なのは第二エリアのやつだけだね。The group of the senators in the staircase as they talked. However, what is it which as soon as he began walking down? Nanka, that's good. I got so evil. Could I stop? Moiter, eh? Then we used to find the step as soon as he said that. On the other side of the door was the floor of B2. He could feel heat and hear some of the bursting sound coming from it. Once I checked the door with his PDS RT scanner to, to be safe, only find that the fireproof door was bright red. Which is extremely dangerous. Mate, Orega Kiru. Once they said that, the nurse will open the door. <laughs> We've seen this before, but I don't want to skip. Since I'm expecting some differences this time. A hot wind blew in his face the moment he opened it. Yo, so easy, Oda. Could ever have died to Oyon de Konaka, Shoka de Kisoni. At that moment. Strange sound rang out as though it were trying to cut off you. No, 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 no. Procyon, no, 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 no. Once they confoundedly took his Procyon out, the reading was at 43,000. That's the first thing to stand there. Why did you suddenly switch? This is a strong wind. Let's go. Wait, if there is a problem in this amount, the switch will be fine. No problem. So, that that a conohio kiste. And I looked out, out into the fire at that moment. And when she did, her eyes suddenly widened. Dosta! Mother says, follows Anna's so, somewhat astonished gaze. What he found was. A girl stand, standing on the other side of the flames. Sanomia san! I don't say recognize that name. Louis Yui Sonomia. That was the name of one of Anna's students who was possibly being trapped in Labo. If she doesn't move, those flames are going to eat her alive. Kimi! Daijobu ka? But Louis didn't answer his calls. He just gave him a sharp look that almost looked like a glare. Ochitsuke! So nani keikai shi nakte i! Ore tachi wa kimi o taske ni kitanda! Sore yori koko wa osen ga hageshi in da! AD yo! Yes, he said that. He said that. The girls went around and ran off. Like I said before, it's still weird how the system works. Since. 
what is his opinion of his, him, himself was higher than his opinion on Kazumi. But he still was like, okay, I'm going to listen to Kazumi. Yet, last time it was all the way around and somehow we got killed, so... I don't even know. Huh? <laughs> Hotchun said that. He and Watsu went dashing off at the same time. She was nimbly weaving her way through the gaps between the flames as she ran. Despite Yun's shouts, the girl didn't stop running. Enters to the inner ring, connecting past the came into view. He go took the card out and slid it into the slot. He then ran through the now open gate and disappeared behind it. He had a card, but did she find one? The gate soon started to close. Mate, mate, mate! Uh, let's just hope we don't die this time. Not saying you made, made a mad dash through the gate. With no signs of a fire in the connecting passageway, but he couldn't see the girl anymore. He'd probably run off to the inner ring. Oh, but just, just as June was saying this, Prokyon's alarm grew even louder. <laughs> June looked at Prokyon in surprise at Rat. Ah, oh, we're so dead. Oi, oi, come and the number was past the second danger standard. Kazumi's explanation is only echoed into what this had. Our lives at a great risk there, even with AD. And the fact that the alarm had gone off as soon as they gone through the connecting passage we meant. Okay, as in, in the ring are probably contaminated. But he didn't have time to hesitate. The girl was being constantly bathed in high level radiation while they were standing around. <laughs> She spoke in a clear voice as though she was trying to cheer herself up. <laughs> but what I say afraid of radiation exposure hesitated. Those words finally snapped what to say out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Once I broke off into a run, doing his best to catch up to Yun. They exited the connecting passageway and entered the inner ring. Yun then proceeded to run off towards the right. Oh. Once I took off in the other direction looking for the girl. The alarm was getting louder and louder. What say I say, I felt a headache from the repeated echo of that sound. No, it's not because of the alarm. Are these the effects of the radiation? He didn't stop with the headache, he also felt like his skin was going numb. Despite all that, Watsai continued to run around in search of the girl. Just then... There she is. He saw the girl approaching the Area 5 connecting passageway. If she went through that gate, he wouldn't be able to keep up chasing her. Watsai desperately called out to her, but the girl just kept on running. However... There was something off about the way she did so. But as I looked closer, I noticed that there was a bandage wrapped around her upper arm. It got her hurt? Yeah. I got a hiccup <laughs> at the same time. And it only proves that he had to bring her under his protection as soon as possible. But as I ignored his headache and tried to chase after her when. Yose, some go on! A voice echoed in his head. It was the same voice he had heard in his head when he tried to save Yuri. But now it was time to stop him from rescuing that girl. Once he shook off that voice and chased after the girl. But a second later... The pain in his head suddenly magnified. <laughs> Is 
Definitely leaned against the wall. What's happening? A light shone in front of his eyes at the same time his vision was rapidly devoured into darkness. And with that his consciousness failed. His consciousness was in internal darkness. Without the ability to rely on his five senses, he had no clue where he was. I'm his hazy mind just barely managed to construct a thought. He then made out the sound of someone breathing nearby. When he opened his eyes, he saw half of someone's face. I see someone was walking while carrying him on his shoulder. Captain Sasagi, who's that? Asuna, he had thought of this and everything came back to him. That's right, I felt conscious. But since five senses swiftly recovered with that thought. Sensei. Well, so far this is still the same. The last thing what does he remembered was chasing that girl. He tried to recall what happened after that, but only found was a total blank. さんが非常階段のところまで運んできたの。今森部さんが立花さんと一緒に地下 森部さんの話だと逃げられてしまったらしいわね。内周島の汚染区域のどこにも三宮さんの姿はなかったとのことよ。他のエリアに逃げたのか。私はのクリオウェッジディスペリティ。イフェルトキッシーのレニングオフソ
天才児そうよ彼女ならきっと生き残る手段を自ら模索できるはずだわそうかそれは確かに希望だなそれにしても先生あんたは立派な人だなどうしたの急におだてたって何も出ないわよいや本心ささっき下の階であの生徒を見た時私も行くわって言ってただろあんな炎の中に生徒のために飛び込もうとする教師立派じゃないかあんなの三宮さんの顔を見た瞬間とっさに助けなきゃって思っただけよ実際助けに行っていたら私も倒れてたかもしれないし立派なんてことないわ後先考えていないだけそうかでもその点は俺と同じだなユーリに初めて会った時彼女は火にまかれかけていたんだそれを見た時俺もとっさに助けなきゃって思って火の中に飛び込んだのいや直前で森部に止められたあら閉まらないわねそうだなちょっと間抜けだったもしかするとユーリはあの時の俺の姿を見て頼りないと思ってるのかもな嫌われているというより信頼されてないというかおまけに記憶喪失だしな<笑>あんまり気にしすぎない方がいいわよあの年頃の女の子は大人の男性ってだけで怖がる子もいるんだからならいいんだがいやよくはないかまシャキッとしてなさいよあなたは記憶なくすは倒れるわ確かにちょっと頼りないけど一生懸命なのは認めるからそのうちユリさんもみんなも認めてくれるはずだわそそうだなぐじぐじ言ってじゃそれこそ情けないよな<音楽>そ,その息よというところで隊長さん,ん私いつまでこうしていればいいのかしらあまあでもいろいろありがとう先生元気が出たよあの程度ならいつでもどうぞそれじゃ制御室に急ぎましょうかあ,あ I like those two together. <laughs> By the time they had made it to the door to the control room, Yuri was already there waiting for them. Yuri walked over to Watase with a look of shock and turning on her face. Yeah. 急に頭痛がして俺もよく覚えてないんだが放射線障害の一種かもしれん立花が言うには放射線は脳細胞を損傷させるらしいからそんな心配してくれてるのかはいそうかそ
What's it then? Give Yuri a smile. Daijobu da yo, Yuri. Ore tachi wa kore ga shoubai nan da kara. Min kan jin no. Sore mo onna no ko ni shinpai sarete cha shoubai agatta li da. Ara. Ippashi no kuchi o kiku yo ni natte kita ja nai? Kiyoku sohits no taichou san? Ma kiyoku wa dou ore. Ore wa rescue taiin ra shi kara na. Sore nari no kakkou wa tsukeru sa. You said he said that? It's only his what to say. The subordinates were currently fighting the fires down for B2. Mika, I'll help you with the two of us. Two of you are waiting for the fire station. Eh? Are you okay? You just fell asleep, you. I've already been destroyed. You have to be destroyed. You have to be destroyed. You're a tough guy. Once I started running off towards the emergency staircase, I heard Anna say that. Let's see ran down the emergency staircase. You can see a flame still there. You can see Kazmi and Yun holding two houses as we dash the laser across the fire. The sound of the problems of alarm beating in the background. Ah, I've come back! Mr. Chief, are you okay? I'm sorry, but I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you, but... 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 Well, crap. I still don't know what to do. Once I checked the area around him as he listened to Yoon, everywhere except for where Tatsumi and Yoon were standing was engulfed in flames. With the air full of heat waves and steam, every breath he took felt like it was setting his limbs on fire. Oh crap! He hesitates for a second, wondering if he should do as Tatsumi said and fall back. That again. My fighting is all about teamwork. I can't disobey superior's orders. I was secretly irritated with that thought. But then, as he ran up the emergency staircase, regret quickly welled up in his heart. Is this really okay? He then made it to B4 and was about to shut the fireproof door behind him, but then. You hear the roar coming from downstairs. No! All of a sudden, something blew through the wide open door and knocked at his office feet. He slammed into the hallway floor, then turned around as agony warped his face. Air caressing his face was hot. I screwed up again. I still don't know how that system works. Lex mode spilled out of the stairwell. <coughs> so that all. It appears that an earth shattering explosion had occurred back down on B2. All of the color drained from what is his face. Tachibana! Moribe! Before I knew it, he was running back to the stairwell, shouting the whole way. Black smoke obstructed his path, intense heat burned into his skin. But what is he paid none of that any heat as he ran down the stairs? The regret of being the only one to retreat pierced him right through the heart. Put it down, he got the worse the heat became. Let's run a more bit, please. I'm begging you, be alive. <laughs> I don't think they're alive. I think we just called it a second bad hand. But she ran down to B2 as he prayed for that for the bottom of his heart. And before long, he found the two of them lying in a world of black smoke, fire, and scorching heat. Heads and faces as we completely charred black, leaving no way to distinguish them from another apart from the height and weight differences. <laughs> I'm really going to read up on this system, how this works. This is confusing to the point that it's really getting frustrating. I wanted all of them to 
get out because I knew this was going to happen. There was little to no chance that they were still alive. But that reasonable assessment was completely cast aside in favor of what is his emotions. Once they screamed that and leaped into the flames, the slime side was dyed orange. All the fluid towards his eyes instantly evaporated, leaving stranded in the black world. Where, where are they? Okay, what the hell? His hair was reduced to ash, and the foul stains filled his nose. Next, he smelled meat cooking, but he soon lost the ability to tell what it was. For his nose, mucous membrane had burned up. It was hot for some reason. The whole body was hot. Even though it lost its sense of sight and smell, that agony was still remained. And before he knew it, Otisei was lying on the ground. His cheek pressed against the white hot floor, making a sizzling sound as it did. He no longer knew anything. Nothing except the fact that he was burning. Achibana, Moribe, with his sight still rolled from him. Otisei turned towards them and reached out. But his fingers never touched anything. And that's what to say priest in his last as he apologized to Katame and Yun. Well, okay, this makes sense. I mean, Yoon's sense was very high, what I say was not really high, but Kazumi's was the lowest. I guess I had to do all three of them at the highest. So, since we got a different bad end this time, this video is not going to waste. And luckily, luckily, I don't have to play through um, the whole getting a headache and getting rescued by the teacher stuff again. So yeah, let's try something different next time. Thank you all for watching. And let's just, uh, let's just hope that <laughs> I won't screw up next time. <laughs>